So that's when I called out Lem. I call him Lem, that's kind of a thing we had, you know? So I yelled, Lem, watch out! And that's when the, the railing creaked and fell. He raises his hands, and the drummer starts a new beat. Yes, I know Frank. You told me this story last time, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember, but we didn't do the surgery then. Well, today's gonna be different. Does Linkopsy, can I have a word? I'm sorry, but the systems are down. We have to postpone all the surgeries today. What? We can't connect to the database. The diagnostic equipment is offline. Nothing works. Th no, that's not acceptable. This patient needs a thrombectomy. It's already been postponed. It's dangerous to wait. I'm sorry. There's literally nothing I can do about it. Doc? Everything okay? We all know how recent ransomware attacks have affected medical services around the world. Just as in this story, they not only affected data, but patient lives as well. Let's go back and see how this attack began and which trend micro technologies can be used to prevent this from happening in your organization. A global platform that serves up advertising content on many high profile websites has been infiltrated. The attackers have managed to get a malicious advertisement into circulation. A member of the hospital staff is browsing the web during their break time and the malware is triggered. The exploit starts a command line in order to run PowerShell, a legitimate Microsoft tool, which is used to load and execute a credential harvesting tool directly from memory, bypassing security mechanisms that rely on file I.O. to detect attacks. The attackers go on to leverage WMI to move laterally within the network and carry out further reconnaissance and credential harvesting. They're looking for mission-critical servers running vulnerable versions of JBoss. In the case of our victim, the older version of JBoss was included in the build in the dev pipeline and has rolled into production, allowing the attackers to upload their ransomware to every vulnerable server and trigger the encryption simultaneously for maximum effect. The hospital is now faced with a significant ransom demand and a huge impact on frontline services. How would this have gone differently if the environment were protected by Trend Micro? Let's have a look. On the servers in advance of deployment, customers can look for vulnerabilities and threats in the dev pipeline, ensuring container images are safe for production. If vulnerable images are deployed, our IPS capabilities would block the JBoss exploit, or our runtime behavioral analysis capabilities would detect and block the ransomware's attempt to encrypt files. On a network level, Trend Micro would detect the malicious network activity, and using IPS would block the attempted exploit of the JBoss vulnerability. On the endpoint, where the malicious ad is first displayed, Trend Micro's runtime detection techniques, including behavioral monitoring, memory inspection and machine learning, would detect and block the launch of the malicious PowerShell script. Our endpoint IPS capabilities could detect and block the lateral movement to the JBoss server. For SOC or IR teams, Trend Micro's XDR capabilities provide insight into every step the malware took, from the endpoint to the servers and across the network. And our managed XDR service provides 24-7 detection and response assistance across all environments, including email. Cyber threats are ugly, malicious, intrusive, relentless. They are overwhelming and chaotic. But through the graceful orchestration of our proven foresight, X-Gen security strategy and passionate people, we enable our customers to prepare for, withstand and rapidly recover from threats turning cybersecurity into something beautiful. Today's gonna be different. Oh, that's the spirit, Doc. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I went skiing with Keith? We got stuck on the lift, we both had to jump. 